Okay guys, we're back. Camera cut off, but that's okay. It's no problem. You see where I jumped, that's where I landed. Woo! And we're done. Yeah, bad time for the camera to cut off, wasn't it? Okay, I'd like to explain some stuff in the next act. Just because they're uh, a little different from other Sonic games. So I'm just going to take a little time to show you. First off, there is two spin dashes in this game. There's one where you hold up like this, and then press the A button to charge it up, and then there you go. Then there's another one where you hold down, and then do a spin dash like normal like that. The first one is charges up quicker. The second one takes longer, but you're safer because you're spinning. Uh, what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, this is the first walkthrough that I have turned off the... Uh, what do they call it? Wind filter? So that greatly increased the quality of the sound. If you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, I turned off the wind filter. If you watch some of my Step Mania videos where it thinks that my fingers are the wind, you'll understand what I mean. Okay, basically with this boss, all you have to do is get to the top, which is, as you can see, very hard to do. Just keep trying to go up and popping those bubbles as you go. This is mostly about luck getting up there. Ah! Uh, um... Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, come on, let me up. Ow. Aha! <laughs> yeah, down the last set of flippers is some spikes. There we go. Now it's smooth sailing. There we go. It might take you a little longer, but that's okay. Just keep trying, it takes practice. That's done with Zone 3. So what do you think of this game so far? Looks pretty good, right? Go get Sonic Gems Collection. It's good. This is Tidal Temp Tempest Zone. Oops. <laughs> Why did I jump there? This is the Water Zone. But it's a fun water zone. I don't know why. The level, maybe it's just because the level design's so good in this game. As with any water zone, definitely stay up if you can. But this level sometimes doesn't let you. And, oh, missed a spring. <laughs> I'll have to try to land on it. Okay, go over here. Hit this spring. Don't touch the control pad. There we go. Future. The, by the way, the futures are where Eggman takes over. In case you didn't notice. Okay, go down here, hit this spring. Wait, where's the spring? Oh, wait, it must be in the present time. My mistake. Nope, it's okay. What did that switch to? I don't think I've ever been down here in the fruit in the future. Oh, I'm running out of uh, air. I'm near the surface though. In case you didn't notice, there's very few air bubbles in this game. I should say this water level. So race through the water as fast as you can if you get in it. Yeah, I really don't know what that switch was. I hit a whole. I mean, when I hit one switch, a whole bunch of them disappeared. Was that a glitch or something? I don't know what that did. Oh well. I'll have to check that out later. Jump down here. Woo! Yeah, you want to go right. Those little same spike balls from uh, Sonic 1, by the way. Oh! I also would like to say something. This game takes place between Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. That's why I don't have Tails as a partner. Yeah, you normally... Uh, in the other Sonic games after 1, Tails is your partner, but this is not the case in this one because you don't have Tails, or I shouldn't say you don't have Tails, you haven't met Tails yet in this game. It's just the timeline of the Sonic games. It's just how they made it. Let's skip that bubble. Uh, I forgot where I'm supposed to go here. Oh! Um, hang on a sec. Um... Where am I supposed to... I, I forgot where I'm supposed to go, seriously. 
Uh, I'm gonna go back up this way. Don't you just hate getting lost? <laughs> oh yeah, this is the right way. Sorry about that. Okay. This breaks away. No, wait, not this way. I don't want to go that way. Hit the spring. Oh. oh. These, yeah, these things push you, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Oh, shoot. Man, I'm really lost. I can't believe this. No, wait. Oh, wait, this is the right way. I thought I was going to go back to that dead end. Never mind. Is this song looping? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's definitely a better path through this level than I used to know. It's for some reason I got lost. I don't know why. Hey, I was supposed to grab onto that. The top one there. Oh shoot, let's go too quickly. Oh, I'm really sucking in this part, aren't I? <laughs> I no, I'm not this part, this level. Oh well. And up we go. Use these as stairs. Use jumps just high enough to get the next one so you don't waste time. Okay, now we're at the end. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I should've just went up by that lamppost like I thought I should've before. I, I mean, I was thinking it, but I went down anyway. I don't know why. Weird. <laughs> Alright, this is Act 3. Once again, it's in the future where Eggman has taken over. I say it's so cheery-like. <laughs> okay, hit him four times. Do these, like, catacomb-like areas. It's not that hard to do so. It just speeds him up a little bit. There we go. See that? I'm gonna get this for the fun of it. Yeah, this is invincibility music in this game. Okay, with this boss, you don't have any air except for the bubbles that swirl around him. They're his protection. This is a pretty dang easy boss. Just watch the uh, little... Uh, I don't know what he shoots. I'll just say they're bullets. They look like energy bullets. Well, basically what you want to do is get as many bubbles as you can off of him because they're his shield, and then you'll be able to hit him when he dips down. Whenever he dips down. I don't know when he's going to do it. Oh, there we go. When he dips down like that. Yeah. Any day now. Oops. Ow. 